Hey readers, it's Mr. Marshall here at Stony Lane. Um, I want to talk to you today about um, when we read, there's lots of words in our books, right? And um, But there's a way that you can get your words right, okay? And that's to think about the words that keep happening again and again and again inside our books. Um, if we notice that there's a pattern, then we can think about the pattern and then just, um, that'll help us get more words right, and then we can figure out what's missing. Okay, so watch, watch. Here's a book called The Sky. The Sky. All right, let's take a look at this. The Sky. So let's read the first word, the first page together. Are you ready? Here we go. Look up at the sky. Look up at the sky. Okay. Now let's look at the next page. Are you ready? Let's see if there's a pattern. Let's see if the first page said, look up at the sky. Let's see if we have something that's like that. Oh, look, look up. So far it's the same, right? Look up at the, is that sky? It's not sky. It's something else. So that's the pattern is look up at the, what's this word? Let's see. You might know it already. But let's think of how you would solve it. We're going to look at this and we're going to think this book is about the sky, right? And so look at the word and look at the picture. Look back at the word. Sun. Look up at the sun. Okay, so now we know that our pattern says we're going to keep saying look up at the, and it's going to be something about the sky. So let's keep thinking about that. Let's think about that. Let that be our strategy as we go on. Ready? Here we go. Look, it, it matches, right? Look up at the, hmm, hmm, hmm. It's not sky. It's not sun. It's something else, right? You know what it is, right? Plain. Let's read that together. Look up at the plane. Great reading. You see how we're thinking about the pattern? Let's keep thinking about the pattern. Here we go. Look up at the, what is that? Birds. Let's read that together. Look up at the birds. Do you see what we're doing? We're reading the beginning of our book and we're trying to see what keeps happening again and again, what words keep happening again and again on each page. And then we're trying to use that to help us read the book, right? And we're just thinking about the words that might be different, okay? We're not gonna read the rest of this book. I'll let you read this book one day, okay? That's this guy, but you can do that. You can keep looking for patterns inside your book to help you figure out the words, okay? Try that out and I'll see you next time.